Hey guys, so I'm here today to do a tag created by Ariel Bissett. She made it ages ago, like two months or more, but I thought it was really fun looking so I kind of want to do it anyway, so sorry. It's called the Book Sacrifice Tag and it's basically just a list of four books you really don't like for whatever reason and that's always fun. So here we go. The first situation calls for an overhyped book and as soon as I saw this question I knew exactly what I was going to pick. And I'm going to pick the entire Millennium Trilogy, all three books by Steve Larson. I read these because they were so talked about all across the media everywhere. Everyone was reading them, everyone was talking about them, a movie came out from Sweden I think that was about that book. And then they started making one in America, and I was just like, oh, well, if it, everyone's talking about it, maybe it's good. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, I kind of liked, but then once I got into The Girl Who Played With Fire and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest, I was so bored throughout the vast majority of the book, which makes no sense because this is supposed to be like an action thriller, some sort of suspense novel and they just really weren't. I found that throughout three, those three books, if you took out the middle third or the middle half even, it would have been a much better book. Plus all their names were Swedish and they all looked the same and they were so confusing and he regularly referred to characters by their first and last names and I couldn't figure out who was who. I just thoroughly did not enjoy those books and I have no idea why they were as popular as they were. Next we have a sequel. Now this is kind of hard because I don't actually read a lot of series or trilogies or anything like that. I usually just read standalones and if I do read a series I usually stop at the first one. But I picked Eldest by Christopher Paolini. Um, this is the sequel to Aragon, which I adored when I read it. This was when I was going through my dragon fantasy, like Lord of the Rings phase, and I read um, Aragon with them. And I just loved it. I loved everything about it. I loved the elves. I loved the dragons. I thought it was fantastic. And then it was like, a year or two later when Aldous read, when Aldous came out and I read it and I was just like, mm, I don't think I'll read the rest of the books. Okay, and now we're looking for a classic. And this is kind of hard because I kind of hard, kind of easy because I read a lot of classics but I also really love how classics are written so that's kind of hard for me to choose but I decided on Brave New World by Aldous, Aldous Huxley. I picked this book up actually having no idea what it was about. I just knew that one of my friends really liked it so I thought well I'll read it too and it turned out to be a dystopia and I had no idea it was but I'm just generally not a fan of dystopian, so when I read this one, and it's actually a really cruel world, the dystopian that, that Huxley created, and I just, I didn't enjoy reading about their characters suffering and the cruelty that they were under, I just, I, it just really didn't appeal to me at all, especially when they were talking about the babies and how they make, they purposely make some babies deformed and um, have mental disorders just so that they have someone to be the lowest cast and I found that really hard to read. And lastly we have your least favorite book of all time in all history. There are a few I could have picked to this probably because I when I don't like a book, I really don't like a book, but I did end up picking Tully by Paulina Simons. I got this book secondhand because the description on the back sounded pretty interesting and I thought it would be fun to read while I was on holiday in New Zealand. But pretty much from the beginning, when people would ask me what I was reading, I would say Tully and they'd be like, oh, do you like it? And I'd say, nope. 
and that's pretty much how it went from beginning to end. I'm the type of person, even if I don't like a book, I'm going to finish it because I've started it anyway, so I may as well finish it. And I have high hopes that maybe it'll end up being good near the end, especially if it was popular. But anyway, the thing about Tully was that the main character, Tully, was a horrible human being. All of her choices were horrible choices. She was cruel to her friends and to her family and to people that were trying to help her and to the people she loved and it was just I couldn't understand why she was doing the things that she was doing to these people who hadn't done anything wrong to her. I, I get that she had a messed up past but we all do and honestly it doesn't give you any reason to treat the people around you the way that she did. I thoroughly did not enjoy this book when I was reading it. I still don't enjoy it. I don't have it anymore because I gave it away as soon as I could and I'm just, I'm so glad I never have to read it again and I'm going to warn everyone I possibly can to stay as far away as you can from Tully. So there you go, that's the book sacrifice tag. Those are four books that I really didn't enjoy reading. If you want to answer these questions, you can create a video response and leave it in response to my video or Ariel's. I will link hers down below. Or if you don't make videos, you can leave it in the comments and that will be fun. Maybe we didn't like the same books. Maybe you loved one of the books that I didn't like or maybe vice versa. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.